Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna have a close look at Xiaomi's Wi-Fi enabled air conditioner controller that not only turns your AC on and off, but it can actually control all of its functions over infrared as well. Let's dive right in. I gotta start off by mentioning that they've got two very similar air conditioning controllers out in the Xiaomi store right now. First uh, being this Acara branded one, and they have this round Xiaomi Media branded version as well. Their functionality is identical, but the main difference is in the way it looks. So let's look at what these things can do, which is a lot. On the back of the device is a large 16A three pin plug that fits these uh, Chinese type air conditioner sockets. And on the front is where you connect your air conditioner, which is the same size connector. So it basically sits in between your power socket and your air conditioner. The AC controller has full gateway functionality, meaning it connects uh, to your router over Wi-Fi, and you can pair these sensors and switches directly with this gateway over Zigbee. This means you can pair a temperature sensor with this gateway, allowing you to set up automation rules based on the actual temperature in the room. As opposed to the regular gateways, this AC gateway does not have a ring of lights to function as a nightlight. Instead, it has this black ring on the bottom where its infrared sensors are located. This allows you to control all of the functions of your air conditioner, like setting the temperature, setting the fan speed, like you would normally do with your remote controller. Recently, they added a new feature in the app that allows you to control all of your infrared devices with this gateway, pretty much adding the same functionality as Xiaomi's infrared controller. On the side of your AC controller, there's a speaker that can be used to play internet radio, it can ring your doorbell sound, or even function as an alarm when you've got it set up as a home security alarm. As you see, this device can really do a lot and it's really versatile, so let's install it and uh, see what we can do. The installation is pretty straightforward. Plug in the AC controller into the power socket and plug in your air conditioner into the AC controller. Once it's powered on, you can set it up over Wi-Fi and install it as a new device in the Mi Home app from where you can control the device and set up automation rules. Once it's installed, it appears in the list of devices from where you can uh, access the device and set up the brand and model of your AC. You simply need to select your brand and the app will give you a whole list of possible controls. And if this one does not turn your AC on or off, go on to the next one until it works with your AC. In my case, both of my ACs were set up like really quick, but in the event that yours is not working, you can also manually set it up by learning your remote control. The device page for the AC controller allows you to fully control your air conditioner. In this page, we can see the current status and temperature settings and uh, turn the AC on and off. We can swipe up and down on the number to change the temperature. And on my AC, I can also set the fan speed and have the lid move. Other other devices, you can easily set up other devices that you want to be able to control with the AC partner. You can add a new device and simply use that device's remote control to have the gateway learn that function. A cool thing is that this uh, AC gateway also monitors the actual power usage of your AC in real time. And you can uh, see exactly how much power you have used over time as well. And in my case, it actually shows me the months that I use my AC the most and which months the bill will probably be a lot higher. The interface of the gateway uh, used to be quite identical to Xiaomi's regular gateway, but this has recently changed, so its gateway functionality is a little bit more hidden in the app. You'll need to uh, go to the settings menu where you'll find a menu called gateway setting, and here you can uh, set it up as a home alarm, a wake up clock, doorbell, and set up devices to connect with this gateway. Here you can pair a temperature sensor to this gateway that can be used for automation rules. This process is exactly the same as with the other gateway unit that I've done some videos about a little while ago. To conclude, I think this is a very nice device and I've been using the Akara gateway since it uh, actually got into crowdfunding about one and a half years ago in China. And here in Shanghai, you use the air conditioner about 75% of the year. So having this device to control and automate the AC is really nice. The Mija AC gateway is a little bit cheaper, but I personally like the looks of the Akara a little bit better, but that's just my personal preference. It's nice to see uh, these have gateway functionality. I must point out that I'm not entirely sure what plug type other countries use for their air conditioner, but you gotta note that the AC partner uses the larger size 16A three pins connectors. These are slightly larger than the regular 10A connectors, which you will need to know if you're uh, looking for an adapter. As for now, they only have the Chinese version. I think it's cool to see more and more devices get gateway functionality, so that might allow you to more easily enter this smart home ecosystem. So far they have these uh, regular gateways, this AC gateway, and Akara recently crowdfunded this camera gateway that I've received a few weeks ago as well. And this camera gateway is currently still in beta, but you can expect me to do a video about that one in the next few months when that is about to hit the store. So I hope you've learned something today about these air conditioner gateways. If you like my videos, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe 
to the channel if you have not done that yet. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.